if you don't do this, your hair is going to be so, so, so damaged. I should have known better, but I didn't. So learn from me. Don't make that mistake. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I wanted to show you guys my top five tips and tricks for using the Shark Flex style. I know a lot of people, when you first get it, there can be a little bit of a learning curve. And that is something that you definitely get used to and kind of learn to work with it a little bit better. I definitely know when I first tried mine a few times, I didn't quite love the result or like love what I was seeing. It just took me a little bit to figure out what I was doing wrong and what I prefer to do instead. My number one tip when it comes to using the curling wands, a lot of people, especially if your hair is more on the straight to like slightly wavy, doesn't really hold a curl. Um, a lot of people, including myself when I first tried it, I would do my hair and by the time I was finishing up one side, the other side had already fallen out. So my tip to help combat this is styling products. What you're going to want to do is to either use some sort of hairspray afterward um, if you don't want to use anything beforehand. If you want to avoid using hairspray, I know hairspray certainly isn't my favorite thing. Using a hair texturizer, some sort of like curl cream product, something like that to help give your hair a little bit more grip and I personally have found that using a sea salt spray works really really great for this and it kind of doubles as a hairspray. Also I really like hair mousse for this, just anything to help give your hair a little bit of extra hold. Tip number two again with the curling wand, which you're gonna want to do if your curls are falling out. If you found that the products you use kind of don't help a ton or still having that issue of the hairstyle falling out on you make sure that you are utilizing the cool shot button having your hair in the curler for about 10 seconds on heat and then once you've done that go ahead and press the cool shot button for 10 seconds it allows the curl to somewhat cool in place it's not going to get completely cooled down just that little bit of cool air really helps to lock everything in and set it into place so it's not falling out by the time you're finished with everything so yes please do not neglect the cool shot button i know it takes a little bit longer Longer and it adds on to the total time it also is an extra step in the process but if you want your hair to last longer this is pretty crucial if you're not trying to use a ton of hairspray on your hair either tip number three this is so 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 important this is going to contribute to the life of your shark flex style and ensure that you can keep using this guy for hopefully as long as possible so it doesn't end up breaking on you honestly i didn't even know about it till i saw tiktok but you always want to make sure that you're cleaning out the filter here at the bottom when this gets all clogged up with hair product dust whatever um, from sucking in the air. When that happens, your Shark Flex style can begin to overheat and cause issues with the motor and all sorts of things. And I first noticed that when I had had mine for, I don't know, maybe two or three months and I would be in the middle of using it and it would shut off on its own. And I was really worried that it was already like pooping out on me and was going to quit working, but I just had to research it and I looked it up and the cause of that is the Shark Flex style does have a safety function where it will shut off on its own if it's overheating. Um, but the cause of that overheating was the fact that the filter was so dirty and it was causing it to um, overheat really quickly. So here is how you clean the filter. I was kind of confused, you know, on first, first appearances. You're like, how do I get this off? But literally you just kind of squeeze it and pull down and it comes right off and as you can see mine does need a bit of a cleaning so it's not too bad but you can use like anything for this i don't have like the proper cleaning tools so i just kind of use my fingers and wipe it off it has been a little while since i cleaned mine so there's a little bit of build up but it's not too bad but yes, this is so, so, so important if you want your Shark Flex style to last. Before I got this, I had one of the Revlon blow dry brushes and I never cleaned the filter on that thing. I didn't even know you could do that. Um, I didn't know you were supposed to do that. And I would say like about a year, year and a half in, the whole thing is like completely dead. Like it will not turn on at all. And I'm pretty certain it's because I never cleaned the filter and it would overheat and that must be it. So, you know, this thing it was not cheap and you want to preserve it for as long as you possibly can. Always make sure you're checking the filter and cleaning it if you need to. To put this thing back on, you just kind of slide it back into place and 
click and that's that so tip number four when it comes to using the shark flex style or any of these blow dry stylers um what you want to make sure you do every single time is before you go in with the actual styling of the hair what you always want to make sure you do is make sure you rough blow dry the hair till it's about 80 percent to 90 percent dry if you don't do this your hair is going to be so 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 damaged these stylers are not meant to be used on like sopping wet hair and that's going to give you the most amount of damage. It's going to take longer. It's just not how you're supposed to do things if you want your hair to be healthy, as healthy as possible when going through these processes. I know heat is damaging no matter what, but especially if you're going in on like super wet hair. Back when I first got my Revlon um, blow dry brush, I would also make the mistake of you know, I thought it was just a blow dryer. I didn't really, as you can tell, I didn't really look into it or do my research. I didn't even know there was a filter on it. So, um, but I just thought it was a blow dryer. And so I would take a shower. My hair would be pretty wet, pretty damp. I'd towel dry it. And then I'd go in with the blow dry brush. And I mean, it would be dry within about like 20 minutes or so. My hair isn't super thick, so it doesn't take me too long to get through it. But even then, I did that all the time because I loved the results. I just really loved a really nice blown out kind of look. And with the blow dry brush, it was super easy. When that first came out, everyone had one. And I noticed over the first few months, probably to about a year, I started noticing all the breakage. I had these like little short pieces like sticking up on the top of my head and at first I didn't really know what was happening or where it was coming from what was causing it but I later connected the dots that it had to be the fact that I was using that blow dry brush on my sopping wet hair and I mean that thing would get really 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 hot so that was doing <laughs> indescribable amounts of heat damage to my hair that I should have known better but I didn't so learn from me do not go in with the styling tools until your hair is about 80% 90% dry and it's also going to go a lot faster if you rough blow dry your hair till it's about 80 to 90 percent dry and the actual styling of it goes by so much quicker so please do not ever skip that step always use heat protectant if you have it but never ever ever go in on like really really wet hair with these styling tools because they just get too hot and they're not meant for that they're not meant for dripping wet hair they work best on hair that has like the tiniest amount of moisture still in it so don't make that mistake and lastly my last tip for the shark flex style to really create that classic blown out kind of look it can be a little difficult to achieve with this if you don't know what you're doing which I'm not a hair professional so I don't know what I'm doing but I know I do love a really blown out gorgeous look so whether it be with the round brush attachment or the curling attachments what I like to do if I'm trying to achieve that really like 90s big blown out look is when I'm done with a section whether it be that I curled it or I use the round brush to put a little bit of bounce in the hair when I'm done with a section I like to take a roller like this one and I roll the hair up I do that to each section it's like takes an extra five seconds to do it looks like it's a lot of effort but it's really not and by the time the hair is all cooled down if you want to spritz it with some hairspray or whatever and you take down those rollers your hair is going to be so voluminous so fluffy so bouncy just like so much more than if you hadn't done that so you don't need to be a master at blowouts or know exactly what you're doing and how to do it in the techniques this is the lazy girl way just the simple easy user-friendly way to get that look without necessarily knowing all the ins and outs and how to do it so use the rollers let it sit and you take it out it's just the most amazing and perfect blowout i actually did a whole video on this on my channel if you want to go check that out and those are my top five tips and tricks to using the shark flex style just some things that i picked up along the way that i think is really important to share to anybody who has one or one of the Dyson air wraps and you're not quite satisfied or you feel like you're not reaching the maximum potential with what you can do with it. I hope some of these tips and tricks help you. They help the longevity of your shark last and yeah, thank you so so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time.